Good morning, California Seismograph friends. We have a swarm of earthquakes this morning at Bombay Beach. As you can see here on the screen, we have Bombay Beach started out small, 2.2, 2.2, And right after that, within just a matter of minutes, we see occurring moderate earthquakes, starting with a 3.5, which is the one you see right now, eight of them in totality. Uh, or seven above a tree. It is a clear swarm. Bombay Beach is uh, at Salton Sea. Let me go take you over there. So this is the 4.6 right now. It's showing up. It's daytime, so our CNS setting is just a thousand, but it shows up nicely. Also on our vertical uh, seismograph, it shows up nicely. takes its time it's like it's setting off usually with our earthquakes you see them you know spike and then they pewter out but clearly this one is it's at the distance you have to remember Bombay Beach is over 150 miles away from us so now they're showing up here on our digital ones everything is turning red from the south coming up here as you can see the uh, circle that we pl placed on the map here is uh, our location so you have an idea. This is San Diego down south here. Let's make this bigger. So here's San Diego, Escondido right here, or actually down more this way. And this is our location right here. 3.5, 4.6. So that upgraded to 4.6. So that 3.5, that's why we actually see that uh, prior. This is the 4.6, like I said. It's kind of interesting how that showed up, but that's because it's 3.5. 4.6 and then it doesn't stop and it continues on this is as a matter of fact on the list you can see here it's a 3.4 3.5 3.2 3.0 and then a 4.0 so now it's not unlikely to have a greater earthquake but this is clearly also an, a major swarm now as we always uh, have explained and told you here on our channel don't be scared but be prepared now there, obviously we know all that the San Andreas is ending up here at Salton Sea if you look here this is clearly the San Andreas coming down and if we zoom in here you see it's broken up this is a displacement it's actually where the San Andreas ends up from a shear fault into somewhat of a complicated pressure shear fault area and they have been saying that if we get a major earthquake it could come from this area it's not the only area, obviously, where a major earthquake can come from the San Andreas. However, this is a place of concern. And this, seeing that many earthquakes happen in such a short amount of time, clearly a little bit more going on than nothing <laughs> today. So, once again, be alert. Make sure you have water in the house and some food that you have for in case we experience here in Southern California a major earthquake just like usual now what are the chances of a bigger earthquake happening that has increased because of this activity it's not like over 100% sure that it's going to happen it's just not that's not true it has increased by something between 10 and 15% right now so with increased level of the uh, possibility of another earthquake happening bigger than this 4.6 make sure you are well, well prepared gas your car up you know, have a buck out back, ready at the door. I have your kids and family know where to go if something does happen and you have no more communication because the outage of electricity that can happen and also phones possible. So to have a, a, a place set that you know that we all gather at grandma's house there and there or wherever, whatever place you set. So this is interesting we're keeping our eye on this obviously and so should you welcome to the channel if you're new here please subscribe if you like what we're doing and give us a thumbs up if you hit the bell you get our updates and our new videos we put out including when we go down then we get a new url and that's a good thing to have so anyway we hope that this thing kind of dies down and settles out we have a, a better rest of the day not looking at anything major coming from there this these are clearly aftershocks now that you see occur here it's starting to slow down at this moment it's is a good thing but be aware that uh, we have this swarm occurring at the moment and it, it's one of those moments that we need to pay attention to. Have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you soon again. God bless.